Hello everyone, 316 here with another Morpha Monday Lightning Collection review. This time I got the Wave 12 Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger. Usually retails for about $24.99. I got mine from Amazon on pre-order. I've been anticipating this figure for quite some time. Honestly, most of Wave 12 was like a must-buy for me. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories of this figure. We got some hands. So first of all, we got a Karate Chop right hand, if it would focus. And you can see it does have the uh, triangle shape on it. So these hands probably won't be used again. Although I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a uh, custom using these hands in the future. And then you have a uh, left hand here, which is like a four. You know, like four. But uh, I would put these hands on the figure, but... Uh, the left hand there has I have trouble getting it off it almost feels like it wants to rip so I don't bother with it on the figure itself we got if I can get the blaster out Ooh, stand up you we have the blaster here which is painted properly uh, the color is a little too dark in my opinion but otherwise pretty good and you also get this new effect piece which is specific only to this weapon and this figure, but yeah, it looks good. I could see them reusing this effect piece, but yeah, it, it falls off. If you look at it up close here, you can see how ha half of it is flat and the other half is circular. I usually find the flat half on top being a little bit better. Like that's not gonna come out. It's a nice color, kind of toothpastey. All right. And then last few accessories here. On the figure, we got the Terra Grips, which I'll go ahead and zoom in real quick. They they do have a little bit of paint on them. They have the black and the silver, but not the red on the eyes. Kind of strange, but not too bad. Looks okay. And then finally, last accessory we get, if I can get it to stand up, is the civilian head sculpt. And uh, on camera, it looks fine, but this eye on this side is very very off it's very horribly mispainted Oof, it, it does bug me uh, i i wasn't planning on using the head sculpt anyway but oof. all right enough of that let's go ahead and take a look at the figure herself uh what is nice about this figure just like uh dino charge pink completely pinless on the uh, elbow and knee joints as you can see here and you know it doesn't break up the uh, diamond uh, pattern as well speaking of which if you want to be more accurate you have to outline these in black because that's what it looked like in the show it was outlined in black that's not something I'm gonna do and it's not something the box does either by the way uh, anyway the Terra grips they look good in hand you can you know put them in any orientation you like uh, what is nice is she gets the up and down hands, and uh, again, it has the triangle design on it, so nicer than to make a new mold for a figure, it's probably only going to be used on once. Now on camera, it looks like the torso is a, like a really pale yellow. That's not the case. It's honestly much better in person. It, 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 and on camera, it definitely is more exacerbated, but like in person, I don't think it looks that bad, if at all. Um, on her right boob, you can see there is a little bit of like a, some kind of uh, like plastic uh, stress mark. I don't know what that is. It doesn't feel like it's being stressed. I don't think it's from the shoulder joint because that's a bit further back. So yeah, just something to look out for. Um, you know, all the decals on here are pretty much centered. I don't see any issue with them. Uh, you know, uh, back here, the skirt holster looks good. If I can stick this in here. There you go. I'm not too worried about paint chipping. I think Hasbro's mostly gotten better at putting paint on specific places it needs to and uh, properly. Uh, anyway, on the back here, you can see just how much of a cut was taken out of the uh, knees. Not something that really bugs me, but something to note. Uh, but, you know, it gets good articulation. Interestingly, also on this female figure with the new joints is that I believe that this is indented rather than on the males, which have a... Uh, I'll just use Wild Force Silver here. 
you can see that that's embossed, whereas this is indented. Just an interesting observation. Uh, does not have drop down uh, hinges, as far as I can tell. Uh, when I, you know, upskirt, you can definitely see that it's just a bar in there. It says number five. Like that's not going up and down. It doesn't have that joint. It also has the old neck joint. So this is kind of like an amalgam of old and new articulation. Kind of strange. Anyway, the helmet here, it looks good. Mine isn't perfect, but it works. You know, it's not something that's bad. You can definitely see that out of the package, I don't know why it's having such a problem focusing, my apologies, but you can see that there's a bit of black paint, like just very little bit on the front on the mouth guard here as well as on the side on the left cheek again not sure why that is just happens otherwise very good figure good posability you know it doesn't have the newer posability oddly on my figure though it is loose here the helmet is also a little loose but that it, you know it holds its pose every other joint seems to be nice and solid nothing seems to be um, too like loose same thing with the ankles. Uh, out of the package, I don't know why, but the Wave uh, 12 figures were packaged like this with the leg on the wrong. If that is the case, just look for this little uh, mold mark here and just fix it. All you got to do is twist the ankle around and twist that around and you're good. I do see them reusing these boot molds for the Wild Force Rangers as they're the exact same. I don't think they reuse these. Yeah, no, they haven't used these yet, as far as I can tell. So, all new molds. I can definitely see them reusing a bunch of these. Anyway, there's our figure for you. Yeah, let's go ahead and go on to some size comparisons. Again, if I can get her to stand up. Move the accessories out of the way. She comes in at approximately just under 6 inches with her little uh, uh, pterodactyl fin. It's just about 6 inches. All right, first size comparison here. Let's go ahead and start off with uh, this little Mega Blocks figure that I found. There you go. Yeah, I can't believe I still had that from 2004. Goodness. All right, and let's go ahead and do our uh, Lightning Collection one. Here is, uh, you know, Tommy, Mighty Morphin White. Still no Dino Thunder Black. He should be coming in Wave 14, though. And of course, we got the uh, Amanda Connor black and white Batman statue, just so you can see them. And now let's go ahead and look at another yellow ranger we got uh, in space yellow. You can see a bit of difference between the yellow colors. Okay, there's our yellow comparison. And now what most of you have been waiting for, Dino Thunder Red, Dino Thunder Blue, and Dino Thunder White. And yeah, these guys are starting to look really good together. They do have issues between them, such as Kira not coming with the, uh, I believe it's Tricera Max blaster and sword. She comes with the blaster. Uh, you know, he comes with the sword, but she doesn't come with the sword. And uh, he does, though. So kind of strange, but as a team, they look great together. Uh, minus the visor problem. She's the only one that hasn't had a visor problem, other than it's painted correctly. So do with that what you will. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. This will be the last time uh, in the line you'll probably be seeing these open boxes. I don't think they'll go back to this nice artwork, but I'm surprised they got rid of it. Anyway, you saw the back of the box with the legal. This top is a nice yellow color. Here's the side that says Dino Thunder and... There you go with the lightning bolt side on the bottom, more legalese, and on the front, how the figure's packaged. Overall, as a, you know, a figure set, $25. I'm not, I don't hate this. I just wish it came with one more accessory. Uh, articulation's good. It's nice that it's an all-new mold, all pinless. It does look a little weird next to the uh, pinned male figures, but honestly, it's not really that big a deal. I mean, they're all toys anyway. They all, you know, look good together. At least this figure is probably the most correct when it comes to the line. Obviously, you're going to have some quality control issues with it being a mass-produced product. Uh, but, you know, if you love Dino Thunder like me, you're going to love this figure. It, it, again, even if it has some QC issues, that's 
a figure to figure basis so I don't always uh, you know take my reviews with that anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below don't forget to leave a like on the video it helps people to find it and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my videos are uploaded to the channel and as always thanks for watching peace